A lot of websites out there have a toggle button. You know where you can switch between monthly or annual views of a pricing table or a subscription or something like that? How can we do that inside Elemental without having to use an additional plugin? It's actually really, really simple. A Maxine from Element.how and the code for this is in the description has told us what to do. The very first thing you wanna do is create a section and you wanna use the HTML widget, which we are gonna drop here, like that. And then all we're gonna do is drop in this code. Now the link for this will be in the description. You do not need to mess around with this code, okay? Um, just drop it in. Um, we do recommend you put it at the bottom of where you're gonna have it activated, but just make sure you do that. What you then do is create a never section above. I'm just making a duplicate. We have to add in some extra HTML for the toggle button. So if we go back over here and we type in HTML again, we're gonna drop it in here and we're gonna drop, it, drop in this additional bit of code. Um, the styling for this in terms of how it looks, is right now it just kinda of goes a red color like that. There's not much going on. In fact, it's the Web Squadron red color there. The colors are defined within here and I will show you where you can change that later on. In fact, I'll show you now over down here. Can you see where it says FF0050? If you change that, that would change the color that you get up here. And you have some additional colors over here as well. If you wanna change the gray that we've got over there at the moment, D, O, D, E, C, E, and stuff like that. That's pretty simple. So all we've done at the moment is drop in two HTML codes. There's one big one here, which kind of controls the styling. And then we have another HTML, which is the toggle button. But here's how this works. If I was to now drop in, say, a button over here, like that, let's center it, and I then dropped in, um, let's just go with an icon, like that, okay? We have a button and an icon. I'm gonna hit update, because at the moment, you can see both of them. But when you go to preview, you're only gonna see the button, and you won't see the icon until I hit the toggle. Now you're probably thinking, this is not a pricing table. Stay with me on this, it will make sense. Let's just go to preview. We can only see the button. Now we see the icon, right? Do you get it? Button, icon, button, icon. I can't make it more simpler than that. So here's what I wanna get across. Let me now get rid of those two elements. Let me now go in and do a pricing uh, table, for instance, like that. And I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm gonna make uh, this one be uh, monthly, like that. And the one down here, we're gonna call annual. Let me, uh, annually, annual, like that. Let's just hit update, okay? Let me now go to preview. We have the monthly table. I click it, we go to annual. Can you see what's going on there? It is switching. Now you're probably gonna say, but I have more than one table. Yeah, okay, don't worry about that. All you gotta then do is just, basically, let me explain the concept. The two things you have below the button, are activated by the toggle. Item number one is on the left, item number two is on the right. So if I was to drop in, say, an inner section, which we don't always recommend, but I'm just showing it to you here, and I go for a pricing table like that, and I let me get rid of this column here for a moment. Let's just duplicate and duplicate here. That is all item one, because the inner section is item one. And if below that, I now go in and stick in, say, uh, an image, which will sit here, this image will become item two. So item one only shows the pricing table. When I go to item two, I now get the image. So you could be showing off different products, different pricing tables, more information. Now this is all good and well. The only problem is we don't have any text there. We're gonna use the text editor. The important bit though is to put the text editor above the HTML for the toggle. If you put the text below the HTML, it gets caught up in the item one and item two. So let's just change this to be uh, monthly and annually. Let's just make sure it is in the center. You could stylize this accordingly, do what you want with it. And then I'm gonna add in some spacing like that, something like that should do. And then I'm gonna put in some uh, negative bottom margin just to bring it up. And you might find that you need to adjust it a little bit on the left and right as well. You, you go for the style that works with you in how you're making it look. 
we go over here, we have monthly, we have annually, and you have your wording as well. There was no extra plugin added to get this to work. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bat.